Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smal to Jannah. Smal to Jannah. Okay, giving credit where credit is due, the Americans don't mess about with the hijab or the niqab. Whilst Europe on the other hand, just can't seem to get enough. It's like this fabric is some sort of kryptonite to these people. The uh, hijab for Muslim women are actually banned in uh, public spaces in France. This is Wendin Moltza here. He says the head scarf is a symbol of political Islam, which he says anybody voting against banning it is a henchman. Prepare to put mustard on those words, for you will soon be consuming them along with this slice of humble pie that comes direct from the oven of shame set at gas mark egg on your face. In these testing times, the US has taken a more Sharia or Sharia compliant approach. So well, you know, you can use a scarf. A scarf is everybody, a lot of people have scarves, and you can use a scarf. Scarf would be very good. My feeling is if people want to do it, there's certainly no harm to it. Uh, I would say do it. And if that's not all, he's actually promoting the niqab as well. So you can use scarves, you can use something else over your face. It doesn't have to be a mask. Seen as France is clearly allergic to the hijab and the niqab, the US is making easier for them and they're doing this by undercutting their suppliers and taking their face masks. De, sur le tarmac euh, en Chine, une commande française de, a été euh, achetée par les Américains cash sur le tarmac et l'avion qui devait venir en France est parti directement en, en, aux États-Unis. That's rather considerate of them. You see, America can do good if they're not interfering in other lands and overthrowing their leaders. We have totally destabilized the Middle East. And our government has unleashed ISIS. The people we are fighting today, we funded. The Austrians on the other hand have done a complete U-turn as well. From banning niqabs and hijabs to making it necessary. This Austrian uncle here seems to think covering one eye and his nose is gonna keep the virus at bay. Not to mention the fact that his glasses are getting steamed up. Yeah, that should ring alarm bells for any individual, but not for uncle. And this woman over here, she just looks like she's given up on life. I wouldn't be surprised if they're both related. After seeing all this, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the Austrians have such disdain for the hijab and the niqab. I mean, they probably think it's something that you wear on your elbow or something, because I mean, they just can't get the functioning of the face mask right. Back to the Americans, it's really nice to see the Sharia and the Islamic law being implemented by the leader of the free world as it were. Of course, if some of you think I'm actually serious and you start going mental in the comment section, hijab is not merely putting on a scarf, hijab is covering all of the hair on the head and of course dressing modestly as well. Alright guys, I'll leave it there. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.